Thanksgiving. Saturn and um in Pisces, we know that we have to deal with mental health. And I think yes. that that's the issue. It's people's ideals too, their ideologies. Like the fact that I'm I'm in this reflective mode because it's about reflecting. Saturn and and Pisces is literally like saying reflecting on the past. You yeah. know, it's the subconscious. It's going in the past and thinking of things and putting things into a clear perspective. And when I was witnessing those people on the comments, literally like free this man, you know, she shouldn't have been cheating. She shouldn't have been this. And I'm just going, are you seriously giving a hall pass murder because your, your feelings are hurt? Do you, does anyone else not hear how psychotic this sounds coming out of our mouths? Like when I really put it into, it reminds me of, my Lord, are you okay? I have caught my wife having an affair. Off with her head. Off with their heads. <laughs> and she and her sister are witches. Destroy the whole family. Cause this nigga's got an ego itch issue. It's like feudal Europe. Like. So no one sees it like that. They just go, it's normal for someone to get that angry over something like that and respond because they didn't expect it to happen. So first of all, they're not taking any accountability as far as right. that. So in, because in any situation, everyone still has choices. People don't like to accept this. And it bothers me. Like, yeah, right. I, even if somebody is like aggressing upon you in that moment, you still have choices. In this moment, you were shocked, surprised, disappointed, upset, whatever. But that yeah, be no, you're it, you do have choices. And when people say when you're in the heat of the moment, you're not thinking this is where it comes down to to learning and working on oneself. Okay, I'm going to use a very cringe buzzword here. All right, so bear with me, but I can't think for lack of a better word, shadow work. <laughs> <laughs> which is which is what Saturn in Pisces is as well. You know, you're in the shadows, the darkness of Pisces, and you're working. Saturn, yeah. the shadow work. Uh, but what that really entails is literally sitting with your emotions, sitting with what you're going through, and, and making those choices ahead of time. It yeah. is telling yourself what you're going to do before you actually do it and start working on how you as a person can put that into action. So it's sitting with yourself going... Okay, every time someone eats the last bit of my apple pie out of the, I go the fuck off. That's what I always do. What else can I do? When I feel like that, what else can I do? I can yes. walk away. I can have a calm situation. Okay, what does that look like? And how do I start putting that into practice? Yes. All right, the next time someone takes my apple pie, I'm going to talk first before grabbing the kitchen knife and stabbing them in the neck. I'm going to communicate first. That's what I'm going to do. And practicing that. <laughs> and practicing that over and over again, whether you're writing it, whether you're speaking to someone, whether you're getting validation from other people, what does that look like for you? Finding people who you see have self-control and saying, how do you do it? You know, and what are you telling yourself? And what does it look like? So that the next time someone actually takes that apple pie, you are not going into a violent rage. You understand when the emotion comes over you, you're going, <gasps> Oh, there it is. I recognize that. That's anger. I've already practiced my choices. I know what I'm going to do. Mm. They're not going into everything is so present that it's I'm angry. She's cheating on me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because there was never any, <laughs> there was never any other thought given to it. And then the thoughts that are given to it are in an echo chamber of people like that comment section who are talking about, hell yeah, murder him. They don't even hear themselves when they're saying that. If someone cheats on you, bitch, you better kill them. If someone, if 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 she, if she cheats on you, or if he cheats on you, girl, you better run him over. You better yeah. shoot him. You better slash his tires. You better destroy and burn his house. You better steal his money. Or for the, you know, for the woman, you better go over to her job and shoot her in front of her coworkers. That's what you do when your feelings are hurt. And the whole crowd behind is going, hell yeah. You shouldn't be playing with people's emo. All y'all niggas need to be locked up. Y'all Yes. And I'm not talking about just prison. Y'all need to get actually psychoanalyzed. Because what in the entire fuck? Fuck the children's lives you fuck up with them dumbass decisions. Fuck the families that you fuck up with them dumbass decisions. Your entire life, and check this out. You didn't kill, you didn't beat this dude to death. Now you in jail. Now she can lay up with any nigga she wants. 
Yeah. Because you're going to get out the picture. And you're, and you're already over it. See, it's something that I realized, too. In the heat of the moment, when you leave these individuals, when you're finally like, they cheated on me and I'm done and I'm leaving, you know what happens within like a year or two? You don't even care about them. Yeah. You literally get over it. Like, you're like, I don't care. I don't care what my ex is doing, right? Isn't that the thought we always get? So knowing that and having that decision and solidifying that in your mind, that if somebody else cheats on you or lies to you or betrays you, that it's just a matter of time before you're fucking over it. So are you going to make a permanent decision right now, a permanent choice that quickly transform your life? Let me tell you, with Pluto and Aquarius, honey, them quick, fast decisions are permanent. And they'll happen fast. Your whole life will flip upside Listen, down. Listen, tell them. Tell them. <laughs> whole Say life that. flip the fuck upside down. So I'm observing and I'm taking your uh, your advice as well. Because I'm, um, you're absolutely right about the sitting on top of the mountain and looking down. <laughs> and I, I wonder if more people were to do that. Sit on top of the mountain and really look down and think about some shit. Think about the foolishness that you that you promote, that you think is entertaining, that you think is fun. I was talking to my cousin um, tonight and I was talking about how I hate watching baseball live because I think it's boring. All boring right? is baseball. Baseball is boring. They are the same to me. <laughs> yeah, it's just, oh my God. And he was like, well, have you been to any games? And I'm all like multiple times watching San Francisco Giants and things of that matter. And I still can't. Like, if there's no liquor and I'm not paying attention to somebody else <laughs> having a conversation with them, like, it is dead-ass boring. He said, well, they changed the rules. And I was like, they did. He's all like, yeah, they make it so there's a timer on the pitcher. So the pitcher has to pitch faster. He can't take as long as he used to. He has to hurry up and pitch. And I said, look at that. No break, <laughs> no rest. Just quickly throw your arms out. You know, get injured a lot faster for the entertainment of people who think it's too boring what people are doing to be entertained is wanting things quicker this fast instant yes. gratification and wanting everything so fast is aquarius aquarius is quick it's lightning fast yes.